Stanford University. Frugality is embedded in an Indian's mindset. The resources are so constrained, are so limited, that you have to go down the frugal route. The natural flavor in us, it came out, and it came out in the form of a popsicle string and spring. The Stanford India Biodesign program is a collaborative effort from US government and Indian government to develop science and technology in both these countries. Why was there? You start with a problem. You first make sure there is a problem, and if that is solved, that will generate some revenue and that that will be accepted in markets. That can lead to damage. You go into a clinical environment. It could be an operating room, it could be the clinics, and observe the physicians. If a physician does a procedure twice over, or he struggles with a certain procedure, that's an unmet need. And finally, you choose your top need and top concept, and then you start prototyping solutions. Our need took shape when we saw a pacemaker implantation. The physician struggled to put the pacemaker lead into the heart muscle. The need was a reliable way to detect the mechanical anchorage of pacemaker leads in patients with pacemaker insertions in order to reduce the number of lead dislodgements. When we saw that, we felt like, oh my god, see this is a mechanical process. This is like hitting a nail onto the wall. If we can somehow measure the force that the physician is exerting in the process of screwing the lead inside the myocardia, it will give him a feedback of how well the lead was anchored. And to solve that, we use a spring and two popsicle sticks. So we use these popsicle sticks in the spring in the middle, attached it to the fixation tool, which is used to screw out the lead. We had a scale which measures the compression of the spring. And at a particular value or a range of values, it shows that the screw has gone out into the myocardium. When we did an analysis of actually manufacturing the product, even if it wouldn't be a very large scale manufacturing, would be still less than $10. The issue at hand was really big. The specific need had a huge complication. But to solve it, you may not need those high-tech electronic gadgets or the next generation of algorithms. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.